Hey guys, Galactic Force Media, and is it radioactive? We're here with a review video on the Radio Code 110. It finally showed up, guys. It's here. Let me tell you, it was H E double L to get this item to my doorstep. The customs seized it for about a week, saying that this was a radiation emitting device, even though Radio Code sent paperwork saying it was a radiation detection device. I was on the phone with FedEx International and Customs. I had to fill out FDA paperwork. Radio Code had to send an email. Well, it finally arrived. We're doing a video. Can't wait to show you guys what this uh, detector is all about. However, I do have to start off with a disclaimer. Radio Code did send me this product sample. They said, you can have this, do a video review. So just letting you guys know up front. This does not mean I'm gonna be, oh my God, it's the best detector in the world just because they gave me a product sample. I still will do a full review, good, bad, and if there is any ugly. So with all that out of the way, as you guys know, I started off with the Radio Code 103 probably back in December. It's come with me antiquing, it's come with me to the beach, rock hounding, you name it. I found stuff out in the wild with this, absolutely amazing. As soon as this guy came out, I said, I need to have it, so here it is. So I did prepare some notes because, again guys, I'm not a, um, a physicist or a chemist or a scientist. I'm, I'm, this is more of a hobby for me with you know radioactivity and radiation and, and the like, but I'm gonna give you guys some kind of a rundown because what is the difference between the 103 and the 110 aside from the obvious the 110 being thicker, same size this way, but a lot heavier. So here's some B-roll and here's my information. Radio code 103 and 110 both offer real-time gamma spectrometry, dose logging, and app support, but the 110 takes a major leap forward in sensitivity. It uses a much larger thallium doped cesium iodide crystal measuring 14 by 14 by 14 millimeters or 3.15 cubic centimeters. That upgrade boosts its sensitivity to 77 counts per second per microsievert compared to just 30 on the 103. You also get a bigger battery, about 290 hours of runtime versus 200. Whether you're just starting out or ready to upgrade, the 110 offers faster detection, better field response, and sharper spectrum resolution for spotting weaker sources. So in a nutshell, the 110 is gonna be faster. It has the larger crystal. The full width at half maximum is, is exactly the same. So when you do a spectrum, you're gonna still see the same type of peaks. So it's interesting because when I first took this out, and you're so used to seeing the normal background radiation here, which is, Inside the house is anywhere between three to 450, depending on what floor of the house you're on. And outside here in the great state of Pennsylvania, you're probably looking at outdoors anywhere between four to 600. We do have higher radon levels here. So when I first brought this out and I noticed that we're almost double, uh, more than double on the counts per second or counts per minute with the 110, I kind of got confused and a little excited. I'm like, oh my God, it's picking up, uh, there must be, it's picking up more stuff in the ground or, or there must be something radioactive. It's just because it has the larger crystal. So now we're gonna do a real world test between the 103 and the 110, little head to head here. And we're gonna use two items that most of you radioactive nerds have in your collection. One's going to be a Fiesta wear plate and the other one is going to be a piece of uranium ore. I wanna thank Jellytronics on eBay for this one. Uh, he sent this over and that's pretty spicy. So I already filmed the head to head. I'm gonna do a little narration over it and believe it or not, the results might be shocking. So check it out. All right, so this is a five minute side by side with the 110 and the 103. And you can see right away, the 110 picked up the peak on the left side of the phone with the, I believe that's bismuth. Uh, the 103 is picking up also, but you can also see that the 110 is much higher on the counts per minute. And that peak now on the Radio Co 103, oh look, there's me. The 103 is also picking it up as well. Again, we're doing an iPhone versus Android uh, comparison also, so I'm not 100% sure if you know there's any difference in the app itself. I personally like the Android better, but if you notice here, the dosage is much higher on the 103. So yeah, after running the test on the uranium ore, I noticed that the dose was higher on the 103. So that's why we're doing it again now with the Fiesta wear plate, and let's see if we get similar results. 
So now we have the 110 versus the 103 on the Fiesta Wear plate. They're both right in the center of the plate. Immediately, the 110 is picking up more counts per minute as expected. However, if you look at the cell phones, again, the radio codes on the left for the iPhone, 103 is with the Android. It immediately picked up that uranium's uh, isotope peak at around 185. Once again, though, once you'll see when we're finished with the Spectrum, it's interesting that once again, the dosage was higher with the 103. So let's just let that run out there. One minute left, 30 seconds. And here we go. There's your search and dosage. So yeah, once again on the FiestaWare plate, we had the dose rate was higher on the 103, counts per second obviously on the 110. I can't explain why, maybe somebody else can in the comments, but that was specifically from the head-to-head -head test. So as I was editing the video, I completely forgot that I did a distance test between the 110 and the 103. So I'm gonna put that in here now, and then we'll get back to our regularly scheduled review. All right, we got the radio code 110 on top of the Fiesta Wear plate, looking between six and 7,000 counts per minute, slowly pulling it away. And we're probably about, I'd say, max two feet here. And you can see it dropped dramatically to around 1,000. However, with the radio code 103, which started between three and 4,000 counts per minute, as we're pulling it away, it is going dropping already below 1,000 counts per minute, almost to 500, same distance. So one of my favorite things to do with the radio code is taking this guy on my run. So I'm a runner, maybe run two to four times a week if the time allows. And radio code was nice enough to send me a pouch to hold the radio code right onto my ankle or, on, or onto my arm. So anytime I go for a run, I strap this on, I run around the neighborhood or I run around on one of the trails in the area and I'm tracking myself on the map feature in the free app that you can get on Google Play or in the Apple Store. And it literally tracks where you are and then it'll drop a little pin everywhere you go and it'll go from green to red, green obviously being low radiation, red being high radiation. And then you can upload that data into the Radioverse website. And there are, there must, I don't know how many points there are, but there's millions of points all across the world right now where people are using their radio code and they're out there and they're mapping the world basically. So this has made me want to run even more. So I guess we can say this is a good um, exercise induced hobby because not only am I into all this radioactive stuff, it's actually keeping me healthy. And, and I, I really, this kind of gives me the motivation to get out there. So that's, that's one thing that, uh, well, that's my favorite thing to do with this. So the question is, should you upgrade to the 110? Well, if you're a 101 or a 102 owner, I'd say upgrade, bigger crystal, more sensitivity, you're gonna get better spectrums. If you're a 103 owner, I would think about it, but I can always argue and say two detectors is better than one. If you're a first time radio code buyer, I'd go right for the 110. It's gonna give you the most bang for your buck. So with that said, let's head over to the salutations of the like and subscribe and end this video. And there you have it guys, that's the Radio Code 110. With that said guys, I wanna thank Radio Code for sending me a product sample for review. I really appreciate it. You guys can check them out at radiocode.com. They have every single one of their models listed on the website and it tells you a little bit about each one and you can make the decision for yourself. Also, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, the works. As you guys know, I do have the new channel called Is It Radioactive? This is gonna be posted on both channels. So please check it out, like, subscribe. And of course, as always guys, have a good rest of your week. Be safe, be curious, but don't get contaminated.